Hi, it's Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. Just wanted to answer some of the questions about uh, yesterday's move uh, on ES that I posted on Twitter. Now, yesterday was a tough day anyway. When we get the gap down on a Monday, uh, Trump tweet gap down, um, it's almost like a reset. So if you're looking back 5, 10, 30 days on your three, three uh, or five minute time frame, this gap down really does spoil the party. Uh, so when we got down, we moved overnight, and this is where I isolated my uh, wave count at these lows overnight. But then we came back down to almost make a double bottom there. So it was all corrective, really, uh, all the way through the European uh, morning, if you like. And then we got the move up and we pulled back on the wave four. It wasn't fantastic trade. Uh, the stochastic was good. One of the things we do have to make sure is a stochastic uh, and the oscillator are all going to meet our um, criteria and it did in that case so even if your wave count slightly off always look at your oscillator and your stochastic has it pulled back against the false breakout yes it has it's crossed over here we've got this um, pullback between 1940 on there so this is a decent pullback after a move up during the session if you like so this is the session open here and we tried to close that gap if you like it failed it pulled back it's that pullback that we're after <clears throat> so even if you get, didn't get your isolation right look at the uh, oscillator and the um, the stochastic there now I want to talk about today because again at the end of the session yesterday we had this big dive down and then we've gone sideways. So I want to look at this on the five minute first. <clears throat> we want to talk about isolating again here. So this is the five minute. So we've had another reset overnight with this big candle move down. There's no trend there. We've gone sideways. We've got this double bottom here, look, formed. So this is really the start of a trend, but look how deep this wave four pullback. So I've, I've isolated down at these lows here before the big move up during the European morning. And then we've had this really slow grind down. Now look at, I'm just gonna measure the, let me just delete that one. I'm just gonna measure the, the pullback on the oscillator here, on this five minute. Again, I'm looking at today's trend, what's happening? This wave four has broken the pullback zone. It's also broken the, oscillator but also we've got the false breakout bar on the bottom now denoting potentially this is a strong bearish trend okay so we've got no fifth wave move there it's broken too many rules let's go to the three minute and see what's happening on the three minute now so again isolation tools are different on each platform I'm interested in that double bottom remember so here's the double bottom one two I want to isolate there and on my bar is two three nine five so let's isolate there okay let it do its thing okay so now on the way three because we could see that as a potential bearish move uh, sorry on the three minute bearish move on that five minute basically breaking all of those rules we almost had a fifth wave short here so look at this false breakout at the bottom we pulled back against it crossed over in the overbought zone let's measure now this because we've got to remeasure that so remove that drawing we're going to measure this now highest point in the wave three remember this is the wave three this is the highest point here so we're going to go to from zero to the highest point of wave three, not quite made it yet. Now, so I've gone from breaking the rules on the five minute, now gone to the three minute, I've isolated at the same sort of thing. It's counted a wave here, and now it's looked at that five minute bearish move on that wave four that's failed. And it's actually given it the trend that we're interested in right now. Okay, so there could be a fifth wave move, but we need a little move higher here. We're still not, bias bearish on the multiple time frame dot cloud and we didn't pull back quite deep enough remember it's about keeping on the rules so we really zoom in here we see that that's not gone below the, the through the 90 yet 
So, you know, potentially this could be a bearish run and we've got that just by using the five and three minute. And one of the important things is, especially when we have the big moves down, the big gaps down, it's like a reset. You've got to understand where we are right now on the current day's trend. Um, we're going to cover this quite a lot and eventually when we um, start our futures um, membership, we'll be actually letting you know where to isolate uh, those futures uh, every morning. Uh, it, you know, especially when we have these big moves like this and we've got this hopping, if you like, with this double bottom here at yesterday's open, just to give you an idea where we're setting our pivot points and our start points. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Happy trading.